so i am uh, sharing this screen with you i think it is visible to everyone now now last lecture uh, we have seen about uh, we have started our chapter number 5 that is structures and unions okay and in previous lecture we have completed with the structure part okay just to revisit the structure and union chapter uh, that was asked for 14 marks and uh, it is uh, it is not having very much questions okay questions are very limited for this okay you can easily study this within 3 to 4 hours so just to take overview this structure how it is different from the arrays structure basically what it is a collection of elements which is of different data types array was what array is a collection of elements of the same data type right so in case of structure we can store multiple type of variables we have seen what is structure then uh, the defining this structure the syntax of this structure okay that everyone know now syntax of this structure okay that is struct and then syntax uh, structure name data type variable variable name and all of that we also created some sample structures okay that is struct student character name of 20 that is for naming this student his roll number is marks and the remarks okay after that uh, yes we have seen some examples <coughs> make your audio off okay uh, then we have seen array of the structure same just like when we pass the uh, when we pass the value or the integer to the function okay similarly we can also pass the array to the structure okay then why we require array basically we require array uh, for what array is used when we want to declare a particular for example if you want to record the data of 50 students and that record is what is it name his roll number and about his marks and everything so each student contains these five variables so if we want total 50 variables okay then uh, we can easily do <coughs> okay uh in pre uh, to tackle this we can use the array of structure to store records of 50 students okay that is that was the one example previous one then we have seen these uh, examples okay <coughs> that is uh, simply displaying this structure and everything Uh, these are what nested structures okay when a structure inside a structure is called a nested just like when a for loop inside a for loop is called as nested for loop in structure also structure inside a structure if you observe here this is the structure okay struct and inside this another struct okay that is a structure inside structure okay, yesterday we have explained uh, yes now the next topic is union just like uh, see is <clears throat> mute all of you okay now uh, let us start with union okay basically unions are similar to structure this syntax is same okay everything is same for union so and you can't expect a uh, separate uh, marks sorry a separate programs on this okay so there is no need there is no need to put uh, uh, the different programs using union whatever programs you are doing using this structure it is these programs are same as unions okay so just uh, you have to use union instead of struct now unions are similar to structure the distinction in all the memory within union of uh, structure one minute okay yes the distinction is that the memory within the union share okay the the memory uh, basically the main i will explain you in very simple language in structure what happens whatever be the memory whatever be the memory required to store all these variables okay these variables are been stored combinedly together okay we have seen one example that for storing a particular union 
uh, sorry a uh, storing particular structure we require to add the memory of integer memory of a uh, float a memory of characters and the jo total memory hamara hota tha okay that total memory will be the final memory required okay to store the structure but in case of union the main distinction is all members within the union share the same storage area of the computer memory this is the most, most important okay union share the same storage area okay unions store the same storage area while a structure is assigned with its unique storage okay basically the main difference between structure and union is how it is stored in the memory of computer structure require whatever be the addition of all the variables memory okay but union is what union can only store or it can uh, conserve the memory okay which is having the highest value of the memory location for example uh, for uh, structure if you are having integer you require 2 bytes if you are having character you require 1 byte so total 3 bytes okay 3 bytes are required to store integer and uh, character okay but in union for example if you declare one integer of 2 bytes and uh, one uh, character of 1 byte okay you require only 2 bytes the memory required is the maximum memory available for that uh, particular variable okay so thus the unions are used unions are used to conserve the memory unions are used to conserve the memory since the same memory is shared by all the members one variable can reside into uh, memory at your time. voice is not coming properly hello is it audible now sir hello. can you repeat one sir, second is audible your but is uh, your screen is hang you are just not it is not moving your voice is breaking hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The the screen is not moving. Yes, sir. One minute. Huh? <clears throat> This screen is not moving. Yes, sir. Your front camera screen. Hello. Is it moving now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the. But it is still buffering, sir. And. hello uh, yes uh, thus the unions are used to conserve the memory since same memory is shared by all the members when another variable is set into memory the previous is replaced that is the previous cannot persist this is very important keep in mind see this sentence when another variable is set into memory the previous is replaced okay see what happens in this बहुत ब्रेक हो रहा है वन मिनट है बाकी लोगों बाकी लोगों का हो रहा है कि नहीं क्योंकि नॉट क्लियर हेलो हेलो इज इट ऑडिबल नाउ यस सर यस सर ओके यस सर okay so now uh, let us revise this union again okay unions are similar to the structure its syntax uh, its syntax is same such as structure the main difference is the main distinction is all about the members members means what basically variables okay members is what variables union share the same storage area of the computer memory whereas each member within the structure is assigned to its unique storage keep in mind whatever mem whatever uh, variables we declare inside the structure the total memory required is the addition of all these variables together but in union 
if you suppose declare 10 variables okay so the total memory required okay for a union to store is the maximum memory required for particular variable okay ke for example agar apne panch uh, variable declare kiya 1 2 3 4 5 and for example fifth uh, if suppose fifth uh, fifth variable require the maximum memory then the total memory of the union is the maximum memory of the fifth variable okay means the union contains the memory which is of only one variable okay which is away which require maximum memory to store thus unions are used to conserve the memory right because it can store only one variable memory since uh, same memory is shared by all the members one variable can reside into another time but the limitation for union is when another variable is set to memory the previous is replaced keep in mind this is replaced again now replace means what it is overwritten keep in mind so when you go for we'll see by example okay how it happens so replace means what happens there is a overwriting of the memory okay so you can't store multiple variables at a time if you store one variable and after that you declare another variable then the first variable the previous variable will be replaced by the uh, second one thus unions are very useful for application involving multiple members where values need to be assigned to the members at the same time keep in mind okay see in structure all the memories are required all the uh, whatever memory is required it will be shared with everyone okay means the it is a total combination of all the variables but in union a uh, one member can only store at one time okay that's it then go for next therefore although union may contain many member of different values it can handle only one member at a time this is very important why it can able to handle only one member at a time because it can store one member at a time okay just like uh, see unlike structure structure can store multiple values okay but union can store only one value at a time the compiler uh, yes <coughs> Uh, the compiler allocates a piece of storage that is large enough to hold the largest variable type in the union as i already told you the memory required for storing the union okay is is what uh, so, largest or variable type. hello हाँ सर वैसे ही हो रहा है हम्म नहीं कनेक्शन इस फाइन है चेक ऑल इट इस कनेक्टेड तू सेल्फ ठीक है ओके वन मिनट हेलो स्क्रीन शेयर में परफेक्टली सब कुछ मूव कर रहा है लेकिन आपका जो ऑडियो है ना वो बराबर नहीं आ रहा ओके वन मिनट इज इट ऑडिबल नाउ यस सर ओके सर ओके यस सर See, uh, I'll first explain this. So if you are having any problem, uh, we'll discuss it later. Okay, and don't worry, I'm going to revise it once again. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. So, um, see, this is new topic, so it is very difficult to understand at the first point, and in online also. Basically, online makes it more difficult. Okay, but I'm preparing a whiteboard lecture separately, so I will send you the lectures for chapter number four, five, and six. Okay, don't worry about that. <coughs> In case of unions, the compiler allocates a piece of storage that is large, yes, large, uh, largest variable type in the union. Okay, now this is one example of uh, union. For example, union student. See the difference. In previous lecture, we have only covered here struct. Okay, for structure, we write here struct. Here, the syntax is everything is same. Okay, just whatever we are writing, we are writing here. In case of struct, we are only writing the union. Okay, so union 
then student is the name of the union and then here data type and variable data type variable right so integer roll number is the first variable and float marks is the one variable now keep in mind when you declare them separately see here integer there are uh, one minute there are uh, i'll take 10 seconds okay so there are integer and there is a, a float okay so keep in mind actually the total memory required if it is a structure it will require total three bytes because roll uh, it, it will require uh, sorry it will require uh, six bytes okay but here we consider union so the maximum required is for float okay so because float require more memory than integer right float require more memory than integer that's why the total memory requirement of union is the whatever memory required to store this float of marks so it will just overwrite whatever you write in integer roll number we'll see this by example okay so basically just to repeat it uh, structure is what basically the main difference between structure and union is its memory requirement that's it its only name is different okay their syntax is same their programs are same everything is same just there is a case of memory requirement okay structure require huge so, memory union so, require so, so, one memory. okay so now here the union student has role uh, role and marks so we'll see one example okay in this example we are have we are taken union student integer role and float marks okay so here see uh, here it is been uh, written roll number requires two bytes in the memory and the marks contain four bytes as i already told you integer require two bytes okay and float require four bytes so actually if it is a structure it require total two plus four that is six bytes of memory but we are using union okay so as all union members are of the same memory the compiler allocates largest memory okay the compiler allocates the largest memory so in this case the memory total memory requirement for the union is what total four bytes because four bytes is the maximum memory required to store a float because float require more memory than integer clear so structure require how many bytes of memory to store this particular uh, declaration it requires six bytes of memory but a union require only four bytes of memory okay the declaration of union and its variable is similar to that of structure so it's same there is no difference between the declaration now see the first example this is very important okay it is one of the see first and say uh, has include std.h then we have declared integer main okay then we have declared one union okay that union is of student okay integer role float marks okay only two members or two declarations are there so first we have declared one for student <coughs> okay so union student st1 just look at this section union student st that is what whatever be the uh, information of this union it is of only one student and that name of the student is st okay so here we consider st dot role is equal to 4 yo, yo. and print f <laughs> percentage <laughs> here print f role percentage d slash n comma st dot role so what it will print okay so it will directly print what it will print the output roll number as 455 okay because print of roll number see we are declared here one we are assigned one value to the st dot roll st dot roll means what st dot roll means the integer the roll number of the student so it will print 455 <laughs> Okay, everyone. Okay, uh, now we'll take st dot marks is equal to 67. Again, we are declared one value. 
okay then we have printed okay so this print will happen at the 67 okay you see here in first case see i'll repeat once again in first case we are assigned one value and then we are printed in second case we assign value then value is printed okay that's why there is no overwriting of the values okay so both values are printed here now if you just look at the second example here the whole uh, syntax is same just what we have done here instead of uh, printing it every time we are declared both variables we are declared roll number and we are declared marks keep in mind the marks are what they are in float so maximum memory is ka ho gaya apka? marks ka ho gaya, right so now when we print roll okay that is st dot roll when we print this it will not show anything see here it will show zero why because it contains this union contains only one memory okay so jiska memory maximum raiga wahi sirf memory store hoga so yaha pe maximum memory kiska hai the float contains the maximum memory okay that's why only see this whatever with this roll number four uh, four uh, five five okay this memory is been overwritten by st of overwritten by this okay so whatever with this memory this has been gone actually 455 has been gone and only 67 is there so that's why when we print both okay so for st dot roll it will give us zero okay because memory is replaced by another variable that is st dot marks see in this uh, in the first case it was not happened okay because in the first case once we are declared we are printed once we are declared we are printed but here if we do the combined declaration okay then there will be overwritten of the memory that is only the union part okay now very 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 important i said very three times okay very important question in case of structure and union so many times in exam it has been come okay so difference between structure and union so the first basically each member within a structure is assigned to its own unique storage okay it makes more memory than it takes more memory than union okay that is been uh, correct okay why because as i already told you in case of structure we require the total memory required to store all the variables but in union what happens in union all the members within the union share the same storage area of the computer memory okay so it takes less memory than structure clear it's definitely uh, when it is a common sense in structure we want to store all the variables so we require more storage in union we only store the maximum value of the variable okay that is because uh, and we are storing only one variable okay so it requires a less memory the amount of memory second point in structure the amount of memory required to store a structure is the sum of all sizes of members very important sum of all sizes of all members okay as i already told you and in union it is the same member as of the largest memory so jisko largest memory lagega union mein store karne ke liye wahi memory uska maximum memory rahega okay for union all of the structure members are accessed at any point of the time only one member of the union can be accessed at a given time we have seen in previous example if we try to access number of variables at a time then what happens it will just overwrite it now structure is declared as struct student integer role float marks okay this is just an example just like structure okay we are having the union nothing changes okay everything is same okay just we have uh, replaced this struct by the union okay now uh, for this we don't have only four three to four points okay we are having multiple points also uh, we'll say to that is it visible can someone yes, sir. okay the handwritten pdf is visible or not yes, yes sir structure and union okay 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 uh, so, this sir. okay good so you can see multiple times it has been asked may 17 december 17 december 18 and also it came in may 19 also okay so the difference between structure and union these all the points are same just i want to add some points here 
uh, first point is the memory allocation that is the same memory allocated for the structure is equal to the space required correctively by all the members here required by the largest member data is more secure in structures okay keep in mind because we can able to store each and every variable separately data can be corrupted in the union that we have seen in the example just previous example data is corrupted because it is overwritten it provides the ease of programming mm -hmm. okay comparatively different for programming okay comparatively different approach for the programming as usual it requires more memory it requires less memory okay so these are all the points you can include inside this so around six to seven points are required because this question come for five to six marks okay so minimum five to six points are required you can write as it is i'll share all the notes handwritten as well as these ppts okay so this is basically about union and keep in mind aapko agar programs karna hai to sirf structure ka program karo okay union ka program abhi tak pucha hi nahi hai kabhi okay so just prepare this uh, theory of union bahut baar sirf aisa pucha hai ki what is union explain its syntax okay uh, yes okay and the difference between structure and union okay and if agar exam mein aa bhi jata hai union ka program okay to bhi aapko kya karna hai jo aap structure ka program likhoge exactly same program rahega just struct aap jahan pe no sir bas ye structure wala program likhna hai aur structure ki jagah bhi bas union likhna hai yes 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 definitely correct clear to everyone so and abhi tak to union ka kabhi nahi pucha hai I uh, I don't think आपको पूछेंगे ओके आई डोंट थिंक आपको कभी पूछेंगे यूनियन का जो भी जो भी आपको यूनियन का जो प्रोग्राम है वो नहीं पूछेंगे बट अगर पूछा तो आई एम टेलिंग यू की जस्ट यूज यूनियन इंस्टेड ऑफ स्ट्रक्ट ओके दैट्स इट नाउ विल गो टू नेक्स्ट अगेन सो दीज आर यूनिवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन only this four questions you have to prepare and trust me out of this four questions one to two questions will be definitely there aapko pata hai total 14 marks ka ye chapter hai to 14 mein se max to max aapko compulsory aayenge 8 to 7 marks okay 8 to 7 8 marks pakad lo aap ye chapter ka to usme se main aapko pehle hi teen se char marks ka question bata raha hu ki aapko ek question aayega out of this four questions one question will be 100% there in examination so first question explain the syntax uh, structure in c with syntax correct i'm getting okay we can get the uh, syntax of this structure okay we have already covered in the first and second uh, slide itself what do you mean by nested structure explain with syntax we have taken this question we had a separate slide for nested structure write a note on unions okay explain with syntax as i already wrote told you okay that we'll get the uh, questions based on union in theory itself only and next and last is compare structure and union okay so that is the last question that we have seen so all four questions you have to prepare i will give you in writing all these four questions okay i am having the written notes with me okay so i will give you all uh, and also uh i can share yes uh, yes i can share all the uh, pdf in the google classroom now these are sample programs okay so write a program to store and display the name roll number and student that we have seen define the structure cricket who's consist of the variable members members mean variable keep in mind yahan pe name hai to aapko kya declare karna hai array of character country name hai अगेन एरे ऑफ कैरेक्टर बैटिंग एवरेज है तो आपको फ्लोट यूज करना है ओके और आपको क्या करना है इनपुट ट्वेंटी प्लेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन सो एक वेरिएबल लो ओके जो एरे रहेगा ट्वेंटी का उसको फॉर लुप में डालो ओके और ट्वेंटी का इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्सेप्ट करो और वही आप क्या करो प्रिंट करो ओके एवरेज निकालना है तो हम जैसे नॉर्मल एरेज में एवरेज निकालते हैं आप निकाल सकते हो ओके डोंट आई गिव यू सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस ऑल्सो write a program using nested structure to create an array of structure to store details of number of student n number of student n is what you have to accept how many numbers you want to how many uh, students are going to store the information sir is ka pdf mil jayega na sare questions ka yes sir yes, pure questions hai okay all the answers are there maine aapke sath ek pdf bhi share kiya hai 
ओके वो पीडीएफ मैंने गूगल क्लासरूम में डाला है कि फोर्टी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है कि नहीं अरे यू गॉट ऑल ओके सो मैंने फोर्टी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऐसा करके डाला उसमें भी ये आंसर है ओके सो डोंट वरी अगर नहीं भी मिलता है सी आई एम हैविंग दिस पीडीएफ ऑल्सो ओके सो इट कंटेन्स सी ये इसमें ये जो है सारा कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ऑल ओके ये है ये पूरा आंसर है मेरे पास सो यू डोंट वरी आई विल ऑल्सो शेयर दिस ओके सो सारे के सारे जो क्वेश्चन है उनके आंसर वी हैव राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू स्टोर रेडियस एंड सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल यूजिंग नेस्टेड स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो जैसे हमने स्ट्रक्चर यूज किया था स्ट्रक्चर इन स्ट्रक्चर इज अस्टेड स्ट्रक्चर इसमें आपको क्या करना है रेडियस एंड सेंटर ऑफ दी सर्कल तो रेडियस के लिए आप नॉर्मल यूज करोगे और सेंटर के लिए क्या करो सेंटर के लिए और एक स्ट्रक्चर डिक्लेयर करो सेंटर में क्या रहता है हमारा एक्स कॉर्डिनेट एंड वाई कॉर्डिनेट राइट सो फॉर रेडियस वी रिक्वायर ओनली वन वेरिएबल बट फॉर सेंटर वी रिक्वायर टू वेरिएबल और ये जो टू वेरिएबल रहेंगे यही दो वेरिएबल हमारे और एक स्ट्रक्चर में रहेंगे सो a structure inside a structure so a structure of a circle inside that there is a structure of a center and that contains two variables okay so this is all about the structure and union chapter okay so this is completion of chapter number 5 okay i'll be very clear we have covered chapter number 1 2 3 4 and 5 for fourth multi dimensional arrays are remaining for i think division e only okay for division b i have covered it okay so total yes, has been completed okay i'll share you the notes okay of all that i'm continuously repeating okay so uh, now in case of this uh, structure and union okay uh, it will be very clear that okay you have to only study structures union mein aap sirf theory question padhoge okay और एक ही काम करो ये जो यूनिवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन है इसको सबसे पहले पढ़ो ओके इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दिस ऑल द क्वेश्चंस यू कैन डेफिनेटली डू ओके आप इफ यू वांट यू कैन टेक अ स्नैपशॉट और यू कैन टेक अ यू कैन टेक अ स्नैपशॉट फॉर दिस और आप इमेज निकाल सकते हो इफ यू वांट ओके अदरवाइज आई विल शेयर यू इन लेटर क्लियर okay so i will uh, keep this chat section open for 5 minutes okay whatever uh, points you have okay you can just type here okay so that i will reply it i'll give you total 5 minutes okay for whatever your problems just uh, put it in the chat section if anyone want to discuss you can discuss otherwise i will start chapter number 6 yes karan is saying can you teach us syntax of this structure in the first lecture itself we have covered it okay but uh, still if you want see here defining this structure this is the syntax of this structure okay so struct it is a predefined predefined it is a keyword okay so you can't change it then we are having structure name okay structure name is what it is any name given to this structure and then we are having different data type along with variable see this member variable don't confuse with member variable it is just a variable just like a b c d e f g whatever okay so data type it can be integer float character okay and this is name of the variable okay it's as simple as that struct structure name okay and all these variables that we declare inside this structure because structure store 
मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स ओके मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स ऑफ द मल्टीपल डेटा टाइप्स एरे स्टोर मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स ऑफ द सेम डेटा टाइप ओके बट स्ट्रक्चर कैन स्टोर मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स ओके सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस सी स्ट्रक्ट स्ट्रक्चर नेम स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल इट इज एग्जाम्पल ओके यू कैन सी हियर सेम okay so now okay uh <clears throat> now i will start uh, next chapter that is chapter number 6 okay so it is pointers okay now uh, the pointer contain only 12 marks of weightage okay only 12 marks actually uh, we have covered total 5 chapters okay out of 5 chapters you will get total 78 marks of syllabus so 78 of marks of syllabus has been already completed okay and now this is next chapter number 6 okay it contains only 12 marks and don't worry see you might have heard about that pointers uh, pointers are having uh, pointers are much difficult no they are not difficult see actually pointers are difficult previously in old syllabus in new syllabus it is not difficult okay because they are not asking the different type of questions they will not ask you the programs about pointers okay they will just ask you hello hello okay everyone mute mute okay so we are having pointers yes uh we are having pointers in c okay so uh, we are having pointers in c chapter number 6 it contains how many marks total 12 marks okay in pointers they will not ask you to write the programs on pointers in pointers they will definitely ask you write the or find the output of the program okay that's it okay find the output of the program so that is uh, very important in this case because see for this purpose you have to study this okay well okay because the question is always what you have to find the output of the program okay there are some problems okay we'll take that but uh, maximum times they will only ask that find the output of the programs on pointers there are two theory questions that you have to do okay there is no option for that okay uh, so now <clears throat> we'll start this chapter so first these are contents what are uh, basically we we'll consider some prerequisites okay okay i take some questions om saying how many and what chapters are there for this semester we are having total 6 chapters and for uh, uh, for unit test 2 okay i will inform what is this syllabus okay so the prerequisite okay basics of c program language that you know what is data type okay we know data type integer float character double long double okay then sign and sign then variables we know variables we know arrays we know functions and standard input output functions that is printf and scanf this is just the prerequisite that everyone knows now introduction pointer is a derived type keep in mind pointer are not stated in the c programming language okay they are derived basically now pointer contains the memory address as their values okay uh, now just to be clear am i audible and the pointer yes, screen sir, yes sir and the pointer screen is visible to you yes sir it is yes sir okay no pointer sir is derived time no, it is memory address values okay okay can you okay, summer okay so uh pointer center chip pointer is derived type pointer contains memory address as their value now keep in mind 
what what variable store variable basically store what a value for example if i take a okay simple integer a so integer a can store what integer value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay but if i declare a as a pointer it store the address keep in mind. and what is the address it is a memory address you know in c language every variable is stored in some memory location okay so pointer basically stores what the memory location of the variable okay or memory location of the data it stores the location it not store the value okay pointers can be used to access and manipulate data stored in the memory okay see pointers allows us what pointers give us access to the memory of the computer now computer memory computer store the data in the memory slots that you know each slot has a unique address correct that Sir, screen is it visible screen shared yes, is it visible now yes yes sir yes okay okay so each slot has a unique address now keep in mind unique address means what for example see this uh, variables okay for example these are the addresses we have 1000 1004 1008 these are any numbers okay so any addresses okay now for example if you consider okay consider this line okay if you consider address 1000 so 1000 memory location pe kya store hai aapka aapka store hai i naam ka variable aur jiska value hai 37 correct so i is the name of the variable which store a number 37 and this 37 and this variable is stored in the memory location address as 1000 so pointer exactly kya store karega 1000 clear pointer doesn't store this i and 37 pointer kya store karega 1000 variable i kya store karega 37 variable i store 37 okay but pointer store 1000 keep in mind okay so this is the same case with every variable for example 1001 so this variable aapka j 46 number these are addresses are just example for your understanding 1002k variable which stores 58 number just like say some uh, arrays now a of 0 to a to a of 0 jo bhi aapka element hai wo kaha pe store hoga 1004 so just to say you ki the uh, pointers only store this addresses okay pointer only store addresses all these addresses are stored in the pointers okay but whatever be the content that every content is been stored in the memory location memory location means what memory location of i okay memory of j memory of k and memory of m likewise understood the concept of uh, concept of pointer pointer store the memory location or pointer store the address or the variable okay we'll shift to next again alternative altering the value of variable is indeed changing the content of the memory i is equal to 40 this is just an example okay so what what basically this sentence says this sentence says that if we operate on the memory basically indirectly we are operating on a number clear because see for example ek memory location hai mera 1000 to 1000 pe maine kya store kiya yaha pe i naam ka variable uska value hai 40 correct so if i do some operation on this address on the on 1000 for example if i add 1000 add 1 to the 1000 actually i am performing the operation on the content okay so that's why pointers ka advantage hi hai pointer ka advantage kya hai ki we can we are able to access the memory location of the variable not only just variable we can also access the location of the variable okay so that is uh, important this is the main point in case of pointers now addressing concept most important definition pointer stores the address of another variable clear entity means what variable pointer kya store karta hai pointer stores the address of the variable it doesn't store the value of the variable okay it stores the address of the variable it refers to a memory location 
ओके इट रेफर्स टू अ मेमोरी लोकेशन पॉइंटर क्या शो करता है हमें मेमोरी लोकेशन नाउ जस्ट सी दिस बिलो फोर सेंटेंस इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंटर इज ओवर इट्स नथिंग फॉर एग्जांपल आई डिक्लेयर इंटीजर आई इज इक्वल टू फाइव ओके दिस इज नॉर्मल डिक्लेरेशन देन आई डिक्लेयर वन पॉइंटर ओके पॉइंटर कैसे डिक्लेयर करते हैं यहाँ पे इंटीजर स्टार पीटीआर पीटीआर वॉट इट इज अ नेम ऑफ द पॉइंटर ओके आई विल शो यू वन मोर Yes. See here, syntax of pointer declaration. What is the syntax of pointer declaration? Data type and star underscore pointer name. So it is a identifier, basically name of the pointer. And data type is what? It is a any any other data type. Okay. So if we can see here, pointer st uh, integer star and pointer. It is what integer is what data type. Star is what it is a, a pointer uh, uh, pointer notation. and ptr is what it is the name of the pointer okay now just look at so here we declare a pointer variable and what we are written next ptr is equal to and of i ampersand of i now everyone knows ampersand gives us what the memory location okay ampersand gives us memory location correct so ptr mein abhi kya store hai aapka memory address फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आई नाम का वेरिएबल आपका वन थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड के एड्रेस पे है तो पीटीआर में अभी क्या स्टोर हो जाएगा आपका वन थाउजेंड बिकॉज पीटीआर कंटेंट वॉट एंड ऑफ आई आई इज वॉट इट इज अ वेरिएबल एंड एम्पर सेंड मतलब क्या है एड्रेस ऑफ आई सो पीटीआर में अभी क्या स्टोर हुआ है आपका एड्रेस ऑफ आई और अगर हम यही अगर प्रिंट करते हैं ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी प्रिंट स्टार पीटीआर तो स्टार इंडिकेट्स व्हाट वैल्यू स्टोर्ड बाय द पॉइंटर मेमोरी ओके वैल्यू स्टोर बाय द पॉइंटर लोकेशन ओके एंड दैट वैल्यू इज स्टार पीटीआर सो व्हेन यू से स्टार पीटीआर सो इफ वी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई पुट हियर अ स्टार ओके तो यहां पे भी आपका स्टार लग जाएगा वन मिनट आई विल ड्रॉ दिस कमेंट टेन से ओके सो इफ आई पुट हियर अ स्टार अगर मैंने यहां पर स्टार पुट किया ओके okay? तो यहाँ पे भी क्या पुट हो जाएगा आपका स्टार पुट हो जाएगा ओके बोथ वे यही तो हमने प्रिंट किया यहाँ पे स्टार पीटीआर तो स्टार पीटीआर अगर यहाँ पे हम स्टार डालते हैं तो ये स्टार और ये जो एंड है ओके सी ये स्टार यहाँ का स्टार और ये एंड जो है ये एक दूसरे को कैंसल करते हैं ओके स्टार एंड एंड एक दूसरे को कैंसल करते हैं इसको बोलते हैं कॉल बाय वैल्यू कॉल बाय रेफरेंस ओके सो ये रेफरेंसिंग एंड डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर है ओके सो एम्परसेंट आपका रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर है ओके okay, और स्टार आपका डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर विल सी दैट ओके सो प्रिंट एफ स्टार पीटीआर इज इक्वल टू परसेंटेज डी स्टार पीटीआर सो ये जो स्टार पीटीआर है बेसिकली ये क्या स्टोर करेगा वैल्यू स्टोर्ड बाय पॉइंटर पीटीआर ओके वैल्यू स्टोर बाय पॉइंटर पीटीआर रेफरेंस टू द रेफर टू रेफरी ऑफ द पॉइंटर स्टार ओके विल सी दैट now why do we need pointer okay simply because it is there yes but it is used in some circumstances in c for example we know okay for a, uh, we have used this scan a percentage d comma m percent of i okay so m percent of i is what it is a memory location now if i want to access now benefits more efficient than handling or uh, handling arrays pointer can be used to return variables okay pointers permit references to functions it is used uh, arrays it is not important okay yes pointers allow pointers allow c to support dma dma is what direct memory location direct memory access okay you don't have the access to your memory locations in the computer but by using pointer you can perform operation on directly the memories okay okay now see pointer ptr what is ptr actually okay so ptr is what ptr is a variable storing an address as i already told you pointer store the address ptr is not storing the actual value of i okay because it is storing the address okay ptr is storing the address now consider this example okay simple integer i integer star ptr this is declaration of pointer then ptr is equal to ampersand of i 
means PTR may cache store a bhi address of I. Now, if we print only I, sorry, if we only store I, okay, sorry, if we only print I is equal to percentage D comma I, so it print what? It print the value of I. So see here output I is equal to five. Now, second printf star PTR star PTR. So star PTR is what as I already told you value store by the pointer. Correct. So value kaha pe jaysa ye star PTR hai. Toh aap kya karo yaha pe ek star lagao. Hain na ye PTR ke pehle ek star lagana hai. Yaha pe bhi ek star lagana hai. Aur mene kya bola aapko ye star aur ye ampersand. Ye dono kya ho jate cancel kar dete. Toh ye dono cancel ho jayega. Toh star PTR ka value kya rahega sirf I. Okay. Star PTR ka value kya I. Because yaha pe agar aap star lagao ge. See, if you put here star, again you have to put here star, correct? So, yes, star PTR ka value ka hoga, star or and cancel, toh sirf kya bojhte hai aapke paas? You are only remaining with I. So, it will print what value as 5. Now, third, printf PTR, okay? So, we have printed only PTR. So, what PTR contains? Only PTR contains ampersand of I, that is address. And see here, this is the third one. See, if you understand this, only three sentences, pointers will be over. Okay? I'll repeat once again, just to remember. Consider this example, integer I is equal to 5. It is just a variable declaration. Then integer star PTR, we pointer declare kiya. Okay, then PTR is equal to ampersand of I. So PTR में हमने क्या store किया? PTR में हमने store किया address of I. Okay now ये पहला पहला printf. तो पहला printf क्या है आपका? हमने simply किसको print किया है? I को print किया है, right? Simply I को print किया है. तो यहाँ पे क्या output आ जाएगा आपका? I is equal to five. Now consider third. Okay just uh, I'll keep second remaining. Consider third. हमने यहाँ पे printf किसको print किया है? PTR. और PTR में क्या स्टोर होता है मेरा एड्रेस ऑफ I सो so, यहाँ पे देखो PTR में क्या आया एड्रेस ऑफ I ये तो मेमोरी एड्रेस है ये सी ए कंपाइलर अपने आप डिसाइड कर लेता है वट एवर इट इज एंड जस्ट लुक एट दिस सेकेंड प्रिंट एफ देन ओके स्टार पी टी आर इसमें ही शायद आपको तो कुछ प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है स्टार पी टी आर सो मैंने क्या बोला आपको स्टार और एम्परसेंट ये दोनों एक दूसरे के दुश्मन है ओके स्टार एंड एम्परसेंट तो स्टार और एम्परसेंट एक दूसरे को क्या करेंगे कैंसिल करेंगे राइट ओके सो अगर हम हम यहाँ पे क्या प्रिंट कर रहे हैं स्टार पीटीआर बराबर सो so, ये सिर्फ पीटीआर है तो मैं क्या करता हूँ यहाँ पे मैं स्टार डालता हूँ एक मैंने स्टार डाला तो मुझे यहाँ पे भी एक स्टार डालना पड़ेगा बोथ साइड एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस ओके तो मैंने अगर दोनों तरफ स्टार डाला है तो ध्यान दो कि ये जो स्टार है स्टार पीटीआर तो ये स्टार और एंड ये केस में स्टार और एंड क्या हो जाएगा कैंसिल हो जाएगा और सिर्फ यहाँ पे क्या बचेगा आपका आई ही बचेगा सिर्फ करेक्ट सो स्टार पीटीआर का वैल्यू स्टार एम्परसेंट कैंसिल इट विल रिमेन ओनली आई सो इट विल गिव अ स्टार पीटीआर एज वैल्यू ओनली फाइव दैट इज दैल्यू ऑफ आई ओके सो दैट इज देश इन पॉइंटर्स आई कैन सी दमेंट्स ओके नेक्स्ट ट्वीन ऑपरेटर्स ओके यस नाउ ट्वीन ऑपरेटर मीन वॉट पॉइंटर टू दॉइंटर सी एम्परसेंट Ampersand is was address of operator. Keep in mind, ampersand is called as address of operator. Its function kya hai? It get the address of an variable. Entity matlab kya? Variable. So if we consider PTR is equal to ampersand of J, so PTR kya hai? PTR me kya store hoga apka? Ampersand store hoga. See, these are called as operators. Hamey pata hai? Operator matlab kya? Ek symbol hota hai. Aur yaha pe kya symbol hai apka? Ampersand. So yeh operator kya karega? हमें क्या देगा एड्रेस ऑफ दी वेरिएबल ओके दैट्स इट नाउ स्टार ये भी क्या है एक ऑपरेटर है तो स्टार क्या है एक सिंबल है राइट right? एक ऑपरेटर है इसे क्या बोलते हैं डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर कीप इन माइंड जो प्रीवियस स्लाइड में था उसे क्या बोलते हैं रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर व्हाट इट इज कॉल्ड एज रेफरेंसिंग और ये जो है इसे क्या बोलते हैं डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर ओके सो इट रेफर्स टू द कंटेंट ऑफ द रेफरी मीन व्हाट स्टार पीटीआर इज इक्वल टू 99 स्टार क्या करता है हमें वैल्यू देता है जो स्टोर है आपके पीटीआर लोकेशन पे करेक्ट क्योंकि पीटीआर पे क्या है पीटीआर में क्या है आपका लोकेशन है मेमोरी लोकेशन करेक्ट 
okay so star ptr contains what the value stored at the ptr location and the value is here 99 okay so this is what referencing and different referencing operator it is very important okay it is also very important theory question okay referencing and dereferencing operator okay so i can uh, show you here exactly syntax referencing yes referencing and dereferencing operator so many times it has been asked in examination two operators are required in pointer based uh, based uh, programs which is address of operator that is called as ampersand and value of operator that is called as star address of operator address of operator matlab ampersand or ya fir hum ise bolte hain referencing operator it is called as a referencing operator it returns the value returns the address of the variable okay associated with the operator next if we write ampersand of a just look at here if we consider ampersand of a it will return the address of variable x clear so for example p is equal to ampersand of x so ampersand hame kya dega address dega address of the variable x is copied into the pointer variable p now value of operator it is means what star it is called as dereferencing operator correct it contains dereferencing operator now its function it returns the value stored in the variable pointed by the specific pointer to hum agar bolte ki y is equal to star p तो P ने कौन सा वैल्यू हमें डिक्लेयर किया है P में क्या है देखो P में वैल्यू एड्रेस ऑफ X है तो यहाँ पे अगर स्टार P लग जाएगा यहाँ पे स्टार यहाँ पे स्टार तो ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा क्या बचता है सिर्फ X सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल पॉइंटेड बाय P इज स्टोर्ड इन वेरिएबल Y एंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल पॉइंटेड बाई पी दैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज एक्स सो आई थिंक इट्स फाइव Uh, i think it's fine the remaining will take uh, in the next lecture okay now just to remember <coughs> i'll uh, stop share this yes uh, just to remember okay we are started with chapter number 5 all the notes i will just now in some minutes i will post you all these notes okay and uh, start studying what if you are having any problem you can discuss now okay i will uh, put whatever you have problems in the chat sections yes uh, shubham is asking will you provide video recording yes i am recording all these lectures okay at a minute and this also recording you will get i will share the video links i have share i have stored all these videos in the google drive okay so i will definitely provide you the video recording next if anyone is having any problem you can say it or you can just type it okay fine i will uh, twin operators okay palash is saying can you explain twin operators okay this twin operators one minute see this twin operators what twin operators are these are two operator basically kon kon se operator hai hamare paas hamare paas ek referencing operator ओके एक है रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर और एक है डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर मतलब कौन सा ऑपरेटर आपका एम्परसेंट एम्परसेंट आपका रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर होता है और ये जो स्टार होता है ये क्या है डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर होता है तो जो एम्परसेंट है ओके कीप इन माइंड इट इज अ एड्रेस ऑफ ऑपरेटर तो ये जो ऑपरेटर है ये क्या स्टोर करेगा एड्रेस ऑफ दी वेरिएबल ओके जैसे मैंने आपको बोला था कि ये पॉइंटर ये क्या स्टोर कर रहा है एड्रेस ऑफ जे तो पीटीआर में क्या स्टोर हो रहा है एड्रेस ऑफ जे करेक्ट एंड इफ यू कंसीडर दी डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर दैट इज स्टार ये क्या स्टोर करता है वैल्यू वैल्यू डिनोटेड बाय दी पीटीआर 
तो वैल्यू डिनोटेड बाय दी पीटीआर पीटीआर में क्या है एड्रेस ओके okay, स्टार क्या देता है हमें वैल्यू सो वैल्यू डिनोटेड बाय एड्रेस पीटीआर ओके तो बताओ मुझे वैल्यू डिनोटेड बाय एड्रेस पीटीआर क्या है यहाँ पे वैल्यू क्या है जे ओके वैल्यू डिनोटेड बाय एड्रेस पीटीआर इज वॉट जे और जे का वैल्यू कितना डिक्लेयर किया था हमने कंटेंट में नाइनटी नाइन ओके सो इट जस्ट सेम रेफरेंसिंग एंड डी रेफरेंसिंग ऑपरेटर रेफरेंसिंग में हम एड्रेस स्टोर करते हैं डी रेफरेंसिंग में हमें वैल्यू मिलता है जो वो पर्टिकुलर एड्रेस पे है ओके इन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म ठीक है एनी प्रॉब्लम्स ठीक है सो आई विल एंड दी लेक्चर ना ओके